Hi, this is Dave from Heads Up Health, and in this video I'm going to show you how to manage all of your health, fitness, and medical documents in your Heads Up profile. So this can be helpful for a number of different reasons. Most commonly is if you're ever changing doctors, changing insurance plans, moving to a new city. By regularly requesting copies of your documents from your health professionals and keeping them in your profile, it's a lot easier to make the transition. You don't have to worry about tracking down this information after the fact, especially when you need it in the case of a medical emergency. Second is if you're caring for other people in the family. Typically it's the mom who has to manage the medical records for everyone in the family. We've got some great tools to make this much easier. And lastly is just having the documents along with all of your other health information. We want Heads Up to be a complete portfolio for you to manage all of your information and having the medical documents here just helps to round out your health profile. So to manage documents you go to the file tab and as a new user you'll notice you'll have four default folders here. Each of these is a folder. The concierge service folder is the one that can't be deleted or renamed. Any document that you upload into the concierge service folder will be eligible for transcription from our medical records professionals. So we have a lot of users who have valuable information in paper and PDF and spreadsheet and they don't have the time to enter that data into their Heads Up Health profile. So anything you upload into the concierge folder, our medical records professionals will automatically be notified and will provide you with an estimate to go through the document take out all of the relevant medical information and manually enter it into your profile for you. The other three folders are just there as defaults. Feel free to delete them or rename them however you choose, but those are just there to get you started and then you can create other folders here as you so choose. Uploading a document is very straightforward. Let's say I wanted to upload a copy of my recent labs so this is a test for some thyroid function. I can optionally give it a name. Just pick the folder that you wanted it to go to, you want it to go into. So I'll upload that one into my medical records folder and there it is. Same thing if I want to create a folder. Let's say I have a child in the family and I need to maintain medical records for that child. I can simply create a new folder and give it the name of the individual and here it is and then I can upload documents into that folder so let's say I needed to maintain Brett's immunization record I can do so here optionally you can choose a date and I'll put that into Brett's folder and upload it and then I have access to those documents whenever I need them so all of these files are stored in an encrypted format so the storage is very secure we also have a mechanism to share these documents in an encrypted format as well. A lot of medical professionals won't let you email them health documents because they need to comply with health privacy laws and email is not always a secure platform. So you may run into situations where they won't let you email the document or you may just want to share it with someone and make sure that it's encrypted at all times. So you'll notice if you mouse over each file, there's options to move the document to a different folder or to delete it. There's also the button to share the file. So let's share Brett's immunization record. And there's two ways you can do this. First is you can just copy this link and paste it into your own email and send it yourself. Or you can just put the email address of your recipient here. So let's say I need to send this record to support at headsuphealth.com and I can include my own personal note, Brett's records, per your request. And when you hit send, here's what's going to happen. The recipient will receive an invitation to download the file. The file itself will never go in email. That's how we keep it secure. And you'll notice here the link is only valid for 72 hours. So if that person has not downloaded the file within 72 hours, you'll need to resend. And we do that for security reasons. So even if this link is somehow compromised, the link will stop working in 72 hours. So it's another security mechanism that we've built in. And so I can just hit send and then the recipient can check their email. Support at headsuphealth.com. There it is. And you can see I've 
received a request to download the file. The attachment is not in the email. It's just a request to download. That's how we maintain security. And when I click on that, you'll notice it's a secure protocol, HTTPS. So the document can be downloaded to the recipient's computer in an encrypted format. And so that's how we provide a mechanism to use email, but also make sure that we maintain security. So that's basic document management in Heads Up Health. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot us an email, support at headsuphealth.com. Thank you.